BBC News with Justine Green. Israel's foreign minister has criticised the UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres for telling the Security Council that the Hamas attack on Israel did not happen in a vacuum. Eli Cohen angrily pointed to Mr Guterres, asking Mr Secretary General, in what world do you live? President Biden has said aid isn't getting into Gaza fast enough as Israel's bombardment of the Palestinian territory continues. Eight more trucks have, however, been able to cross the Rafah crossing from Egypt to provide desperately needed supplies of water, food and medicine. In their latest update, Hamas officials said 50 people were killed in Israeli airstrikes within just an hour on Tuesday night. Earlier, Israel's military said it had no intention of reducing its bombardment. The U.S. Department of Defense says that more than 20 of its military personnel sustained injuries over the last week in attacks on American bases in Iraq and Syria amid the increased tension in the Middle East. A Pentagon spokesman said U.S. forces had come under fire 12 times from drones and rockets. He blamed what he called Iranian proxy forces. Another of Donald Trump's former lawyers has struck a plea deal with prosecutors in the state of Georgia. Jenna Ellis is among those charged with trying to overturn the 2020 U.S. presidential election. The Republican Congressman Tom Emmer has dropped out of the race to become Speaker of the U.S. House of Representatives just hours after being nominated. He's the third nominee to fail to secure enough support from his own party members. The lower House of Congress has been without a leader for three weeks. A federal judge in Canada has approved billions of dollars in compensation for Indigenous families who'd suffered discrimination at the hands of the child welfare system. It follows a human rights tribunal ruling that found the government had systematically underfunded services provided to First Nations children. BBC News.